Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. It's Master Aquatics and I'm bringing you guys another video. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for the support and thank you for tuning back in. I want to talk about why you should not get fish from Petco or PetSmart. Now, just a little disclaimer, if you're new to the fish keeping hobby, then this video is not for you. This is for the experienced fish keepers or the intermediate fish keepers. Uh, the reason why I say this is because when you're starting out in the fish keeping hobby, I recommend that you go to Petco or PetSmart because they are definitely beginner friendly. And what I mean by that is, you know, when you're a beginner, you have lots to learn and when you go to Petco or PetSmart, they have like the most common fish available to all of the newbies out there. And they don't really cost that much. So when you buy those fish and if you lose them, when you lose fish, you're not going to lose out on a lot of money that you've spent. Um, but if you are a experienced fish keeper like me and you don't want the common varieties of fish, then you want to look elsewhere. You know, you don't want to go to Petco or PetSmart because in terms of quality, they don't always have that top quality for your fish. Uh, for example, I breed angelfish. I love angelfish. I mainly keep angelfish. Um, I want like some koi angelfish, which are red and orange and black and white. You won't see those at Petco or PetSmart. And even if you do, it's very rare. And on top of that, it's not going to be the best quality. You know, they might have like stubby fins. Um, they might have a stunted body type. Um, that's not to say some of the local fish stores in your area, you know, won't have you know those characteristics of on their fish but you're more than likely to get a better quality of fish that you're looking for if you go to like a local fish store if you search online um, speaking of online fish stores the best places to get fish online that I recommend is eBay uh, eBay is a great place to look for fish um, if you've never ordered fish before, you have nothing to worry about. I know it's kind of scary receiving fish in a box through the mail, but like I said, it's it's really not that bad. Um, there's a lot of experienced people out there who will ship your fish um, and bring it to you safely, but you just got to be sure that the person you're buying from has good reviews and make sure that you are getting what you order the only con and downside of ordering fish online is that you really don't know what you're getting unless you're buying from a very reputable seller um, and it's really good to do research before buying online on the fish that you're buying or bidding on and make sure that before you even put money down to message the seller and have them show you a video and some pictures so that way you can get a better idea and a better glimpse of what you're buying. Um, Angels Plus is a good uh, place to get angelfish and I totally recommend them. They have great koi angelfish. Um, Aquabid is also a great place and if you don't feel comfortable ordering fish I recommend that you go to your local fish store. Um, why do you want to go to your local fish store? Well, here's the thing. They know more about fish and keeping fish than the employees at Petco and PetSmart. Now, I'm not saying that every employee at Petco and PetSmart don't know what they're talking about, but the ma majority of them are just like young kids who are just trying to earn a few bucks while they, you know, you know, take classes in college and whatnot. Um, they're not really there to help, you know, fish keepers um, keep fish and, and, you know, teach them about, you know, how fish in aquariums work and function properly. You know, they're not there to do that. Um, you go to a local fish store, they're going to help you um, each and every way, and they're going to make sure that the fish that they give you is healthy. Um, and... If you don't know anything about, you know, local fish stores, Google, you know, go to Google and just put local fish stores in my area 
and it should give you like a list of local fish stores that are close to you there will also be reviews um, if you don't trust the reviews or if the local fish store in your area doesn't have reviews you can call them you know and talk to the owner there or the employees there get an idea of you know how they are um, you know just by speaking to somebody at one of the local fish stores you can kind of tell what kind of local fish store it is you know if you call and talk to somebody over there and you know they're kind of you know I guess rude or you know they just you know they don't really seem like enthusiastic about helping you or answering your questions you probably don't want to go to that local fish store um, and again, if you feel like you don't want to go to a local fish store or if you don't want to order online um, or if you're just not sure if you want to go either one of those routes, you can try Craigslist. Craigslist is a great place to also buy fish. Um, there's a lot of local breeders that breed and they'll be more than happy to sell off some of their fish to you one of the main reasons why I recommend that you go to Craigslist to buy your fish it's because Craigslist they have a lot of local breeders and breeders they take care of their fish and they make sure that they are top of the line um, at least most of them do and I say this because I'm a breeder myself although I don't breed fish on a mass scale I do it on a small scale I take the time to make sure that I perfect everything that I do for my baby angelfish and I make sure that they are well fed, make sure the waters waters change uh, constantly, I make sure that there's good filtration, I make sure the water parameters are good, I make sure everything is top notch and great to make sure that when they are ready to be sold, they are sold with the highest quality because I know that the person that I sell my angelfish to is going to say, wow, these are great angelfish. And, you know, sooner or later, they're going to tell one person another person is going to tell the next person. And they're going to say, hey, this guy has great angelfish and I'll have a lot more uh, people to buy angelfish from me. So that's why I recommend that you go to Craigslist. So in conclusion, overall, like Petco and PetSmart, they will have your common varieties of the fish that you're looking for at a decent price but they won't have the quality um, that the intermediate and experienced fish fish keeper seek um, but obviously if you're a beginner you're not really gonna be either interested or you're not going to know what the quality it is that that you're looking at you know you, you just see a fish and you say that looks like a cool fish and you buy it most of the time you don't even know how big they get and they get way too big and then you end up having to either get a bigger tank or you know giving away the fish so it really doesn't matter to you so you can go ahead and shop at Petco and PetSmart but if you're an intermediate fish keeper or, or uh, if you've been in the hobby long enough and you thrive for quality um, like for instance if you are the type of person that wants a show tank with some show fish going to Petco and PetSmart you're not gonna get that you know that stunning fish where people will get you know eye orgasms you know and you know fall in love with the beauty and the uh, amazing appearance of your fish you can't get that at a Petco or PetSmart I mean I'm sorry to say it you can't really show off your tank and dazzle or impress, you know, any anybody that comes to your home with a aquarium stocked with, uh, you know, basic plants and basic fish and basic, um, you know, decorations. You know, you 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 know, you gotta go to your, you gotta research and know where to find the good stuff for your aquarium and. You know, PetSmart and Petco, they don't have that, you know. Petco and PetSmart, like, those are really places you want to go to for, like, uh, like cats and dogs. You know, you don't, they're not really, like, a good place for fish. And I think that's why they don't focus too much on fish, you know, because they mainly want to focus on cats and dogs. But when it comes to fish, 
they just want to supply the basic materials the basic fish um, like if you go to PetSmart if have you noticed that their fish section is pretty small like it's smaller than the rest of the building it's because they don't really focus too much on fish so again don't go to PetSmart and Petco to buy your fish stuff go to a local fish store you'll you'll get more bang for your buck you'll get better quality and overall you'll be a lot happier so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video hopefully the information that i gave you guys made sense if you have any questions please leave a comment down below in the comment section i will respond to you if not you'll see your question posted in a video of mine pretty soon replying to your question if you're new to the channel and you you really enjoyed this video go ahead and subscribe and uh, make sure to like the video anyways it's getting pretty late i want to go to bed so i will see you guys in the next video take care and bye bye thank you young god for the blessing hey